The top two contenders to be Kenya's next president held their final rallies on Saturday as months of frenetic campaigning came to an end. Deputy President William Ruto and veteran opposition leader Raila Odinga will go head-to-head -head in Tuesday's election in what is set to be a tight vote. Kenya's next leader will have to face ballooning debt and a cost of living crisis. Ruto has pledged to reduce borrowing and stimulate small enterprises to help drive growth and generate revenue. On Tuesday, the people of Kenya will prevail over the deep state. The people of Kenya will prevail over the system and we are going to have a nation that leaves no Kenyan behind. A message that resonates with his supporters. You know, life has become very hard for us. At the moment, as you can see, there's no flood, there's no, there's no everything in the country. But for me, I was hoping if Ruto is going to be the fifth president of this country, everything is going to change. Odinga, who is incumbent president, Uhuru Kenyatta, and his Kenya Kwanzaa party's preferred successor, has pledged to renegotiate terms for the debt. He says this will free up cash to fund social interventions and development. Let my people go. Today I repeat the same declaration. Let my people go. Free them from bondage of thieves. Free them from the bondage of liars and free them from the chain, chain links of corruption. Kenya's economic output has more than doubled during Kenyatta's 10 years in office. But a debt binge that fueled growth and investment could cramp his successor's ability to tackle growing hunger and soaring prices.